Hello everyone, it's been a while. This is Izukazu Phoenix, and welcome to another deck overview. It's been about two full expansions since I've done one of these. Granted, you've seen a lot of videos from me, well, a lot, quote unquote, from this game, and like two streams with some with some of the decks I have made. This is one that is completely new. It's taken off the base of a deck that I made on stream, and then a certain really, really tough horse came out. So, uh, this week's special guest is Mudsdale, just released in the Guardians Rising expansion, and take a look at how buff this thing is. 140 HP, and really, really powerful attacks. Let's at first take a look at uh, Enhanced Stomp. Two fighting, any other energy, 60 damage. If this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it, this attack does 60 more damage. It does not matter what the tool is, it's just immediately 60 more damage. And then it's big ol' attack. Three fighting energy and I mean other energy. High horsepower, 180 damage. Do you say Daddy X's? There's 40 damage to itself, meaning that it can only use it four. T it can only use it three times, with the fourth time knocking itself out. You know something about this card, right? It's a fighting Pokemon. Do you know what fighting Pokemon generally have with them? Strong energy. So just two strong energies and a item means that Enhanced Stop is hitting for, oh say, 160 HP worth of damage. And High Horse Power is hitting for 220. We can go even further than that. I have three more champs in this deck. Each of your fighting Pokemon attacks do 20 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, including my champ itself. Meaning I can have upwards of 60 more damage for this guy to play around with. Hey, how about we make him an absolute terror to those uh, EXs and ooh, GXs. Guess what just came out? Choice Band! The attacks of this Pokemon, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to, 3 more damage to GX and EX Pokemon. You can already take out EXs on its own, but if you want to use Enhanced Stomp to take them out, well, use Choice Band. And just in case I want a bit more survivability, I have Heavy Boots. If you call this Pokemon, uh, this card is 3 or more, that Pokemon gets plus 20 HP, can't be confused. But still is fat. I mean, it's a Mud Horse. It's arguably one of the heaviest Pokemon in the current game now. So, 160 HP Pokemon that can take down GXs in one blow. Scary, isn't it? And it's a stage 2. All this for stage 2. And of course, we have the usual culprits. We have Lysander, we have Sycamore, we have N. I have Scorched Earths for a little extra card draw. Super Rods for getting important Pokemon back. Rare Candies for those Mach for those uh, Machops there. Professor's Letters. Timer Balls to get out the evolutions that I might want. Only two versus Seekers this time. And Paint Rollers. I would be using Field Blowers if I had more Field Blowers. But then again, Paint Roller. Getting rid of the Stadium then being able to draw a card. Technically, if I don't feel like my stadiums help me that much, I can use the draw a card, then paint roll it away, and draw another card. Get two cards for... Quote, unquote, free. There is another variant of this deck that I physically almost have, that is Mudsdale and Garchomp. I get rid of the uh, extra damage, but... Have, but have another powerful attacker, more or less, and the ability to accelerate energy to any of my fighting Pokemon. Which also means that uh, these energies don't end up just stuck in the discard pile. Yes, I know I have these, but they immediately get reattached instead of shuffled back into my deck. 
So, let's see how many people's uh, faces I kick in with this deck. Shall we? Psychic Dark Co- Oh, is this an Espeon Umbreon deck? This is an Espeon Umbreon deck. This is either going to be a feast for my horse, or I'm going to get blown up by Espeon GX. I may get blown up by Espeon GX. Wait, you're making me go first? Uh, ooh, delinquent. Yeah. Let's not play my stadium then. Oh. Oh my. I will gladly take this. This is a suitable, suitable force. And I only need that timer ball to at least uh, work once. Start with a ghastly. No big deal. I have a mud stain on my deck. I just need you to work once. Uh, wait. Are the rest of my machokes in the? I have two mud brays and a machoke in the prize card. What? Dude. Cool, yo. That's a hundred percent not funny. Ooh, you are so lucky I decided to go for HP and not attack. Tyranitar, you say? Hmm. Maybe I should have went. Maybe I should have waited a little. Ah, setting that up. Alright, alright. Okay, it's obvious those are your. That's your game plan. HP. Now what I need is energies. There goes your turn. Scare you a little. I'm already doing plus 40 damage. Is plus 40 enough to not quite? Both kind of stuck. Right, looks like I'm sticking both of us. Hi. Meaning that if I pull my Machamps, two, four, six, two, four. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be swinging for massive damage. You can't get this out. Uh, game? It'd be nice if you can give me my energies. Well, you're completely ready. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna murder you. Oh. I can completely delete you. Yeah, if you use Destroyer King... I have 50 HP left. Goodbye, friend! I actually did not need to do that! <laughs> When you realize you didn't need to do that because he was weak to fighting. I did not need to go full bore. <laughs> Whoops! Right then. Well, unluckily for you, I have pulled another Mud Bray. I can get at least two of those fighting energies back into my deck. Uh. That, that, and that. Put those guys back into my deck. And I'll just rare candy this guy up into a, uh... There we go. Doink. Eh. Alright, looks like I'm stuck. You do have an Umbreon GX completely set up, but you do not want to bring that out, do you? Because I have a Mudsdale here now. You're getting ready to send that guy out. Okay, it's dead. Now all I need is one energy to keep from getting creep showed. I'm gonna get creep showed. Right. Mega Pidgey, Pidgey, what? That's annoying. Oh, come on! Oh, that's my hand. 
I reckon you need either of those anyway. Alright, I'm gonna start setting one of you up. Well, that's just aggravating. <sighs> Where were you last time, Sycamore? Where were all of you guys? It's going to take you a while to actually take this guy out. Still thinking about it. The champ has 10 more HP than my Mudsdale. My Mudsdale is a stage 2. This is a stage 3. Okay, fair enough. Rip. Why'd you put that on him? You really don't want to bring out any of your big boys, do you? And no, you are not delinquenting me. Oh, hey, Sycamore. You'll be useful. By the way, get out! Nothing you have survives. Oh, you're just doing this, aren't you? You're just doing that and relying on luck to carry you. That's annoying. Oh, hey, Mudbray. Get out of here. Oh, that's my last Mudbray. I almost lost because of that. Wow. That's a lot of damage. I was not looking at what kind of deck you're using. This might be a psychic deck. And the game just loves doing this to me. There has barely been any time when I actually started with a basic in my hand. And of course, you start me from a chop. That seems to be how every game goes. I mulligan about seven times and then it says, you know, here, start from a chop, not a mud braid that you want to start with.
All of the Cosmogs, what? I'll grab him a champ in the Mud Mudsdale, sure. Guess I'll start charging up my my chop. This must be just be a straight up Lunala deck. You can't evolve on your first turn. Hi, friend. Hmm. I have idea. Will idea work? Who knows? Like, I could kill you, but you're tastier. Um. That was a misclick and a half. That has got to have been a misclick and a half. This person is going to hate me in a couple seconds. This is supposed to be about Mudsdale. This is supposed to be about Mudsdale doing massive damage, but the game's like, nah, 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 this isn't my choke deck. This isn't my champ deck. Mudsdale's not even there. This isn't my champ deck. Psst. Those Cosmoems are worrying me. However, hi, you're dead now. You probably should not have put that there, friend. Hey, Scorched Earth. Oh, bollocks. Double bollocks. Right, um... Joey is kind of worried now. He is no longer as worried, but he's still kind of worried. You know, if I, uh, I'm a little worried still, because you resist fighting. Oh! Well, that was a bit of a jerk move. Why do you want to bring that out? Eh? Huh. Interesting. By the way, uh, thanks for the free two prize cards, friend. Just thanks for the prize cards. Two hundred twenty. I 
I think you are what we called sunk. Aw, oh, man. Heads. Oh. Did I get rid of all my... I did. Wow, okay. Uh, go me. I'm fishing for a strong energy. Oh. Okay. I'm fishing so hard for a strong energy. Fine. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. Still all of the damage in the world. Failure. Why would you do that when you die next turn? Again, this deck is supposed. Uh... Okay, sure, sure. You, you do that, friend. All right. I'm going to retreat. Toss those two. Get a super rod. Put you, uh, yeah, you and two of you back into my deck. And Sycamore. Give me my strong energy. Thank you, friend! Oh, hey, look. Now all my Pokemon is back into my deck. Uh, did I, did I toss away all of my rare candies? No! Uh, this will not kill. It gets really close to killing! <laughs> you nearly died. <laughs> that may as well have been it, because I do anything and that was it. Mudzill, everybody, swing for 220 damage. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to at least got that partially down. I noob ESP, what? <sighs> My chop deck video continues. I do have an idea though. Depends on if I draw what I want with this, uh. Lapras. Let's see, do I draw what I want? Nope. Resetting the hand. Um, technically success? Yeah, that's a success, all right. Should I rare candy my champ? I think I should rare candy my champ. Hi, friend. Hi to you, too. Search, reveal, and shuffle, eh?
Rough seas, you don't say. I should probably... Yeah, use this. Before it goes away for good. Hi! Sucks I'm losing out on a super rod. What I do have, however, is a paint roller. You put that down, and I just paint roller it away. I am actually very tempted. Alright, so what are you doing? Pokemon Fan Club. Alright. I am completely okay with that. Also, by the way, haha, <laughs> no. Oh, another Machop. You don't say. And you know what? Come here, you. Knock, knock. Thunk. You're dead next turn. I am going to need... Oh. You're bringing out a whole lot of big guys. The thing is, though, <laughs> yeah, I'm not losing that. Okay. I still have some more, uh... Energies for my mud bray, but uh, yeah, this is just straight up a um. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This may as well just be a fighting power deck because that's what this is—a fighting power deck. I think what it is is that these guys boost themselves up as well as all the other Pokemon. And suddenly I'm pulling all of my fighting energy. I saw you got a professor's letter! No friend! Thank you, come again. I could paint roll in my own stadium, but why would I? At least not at this point. Maybe that's a good thing that I have if I'm a champ. Oh. <laughs> I just realized how much damage that did. Just the realization the realization hit me as hard as that uh as hard as that attack there. <laughs> that hmm. Okay, let's deal. 
I think Mudsdale just wins this for me now. I probably should have held off on the... Oh, that's a little annoying. Sixty, eighty, that's a hundred and sixty. Not quite enough. Not enough power. Oh. Okay. I have an idea. I just need one of these to succeed. Thank you. So very much. I meant to grab a mud seal. Anyway. Hi. Yeah, I might as well just give you this. Are you just going to delete this? Yeah, you're just going to delete it. However, it comes. Oh dear. Are the rest of my energy cards... Uh-oh. Please go to die. 380 damage! <laughs> okay, sure. cease to exist. 250 damage. That's killing GX's people. Yeah! Well, a lot of those could have went better, and a lot of them could have went actually more than one turn. Anyway, thoughts about this deck. This deck is rogue as I don't know what, but boy can it pack a punch. However, as it seems with my luck, I, it mainly became more of a, um, a Champ deck overview than a Mudsdale deck overview. Even though Mudsdale did come out swinging for a million damage every now and again, it seemed like the game wanted me to use my Champ a lot more than Mudsdale. I don't get it. Could have been just my luck. There is a few things I could, uh, do a little bit better, like, you know, having fuel blowers instead of paint rollers. But paint rollers have been useful for if I need two cards quickly and I have a fighting energy in my hand. I could probably do with maybe another N or a birch. Not quite sure on this one. And probably one of each evolution line in the uh, deck, so I have a play set of all of them. Anyway. Join me next time for either when I stream some just my decks overall, or I think of another deck overview to make. This has been Izukaze yeah. This has been Izukaze Phoenix. Signing off.